a puzzle for you, and you too. What's that? Um, L-shaped noughts and crosses? Well, not bad, but in fact it's a crossword puzzle. With a difference. It's a numerical crossword puzzle. How does it work? Well, I'll show you. You do what I say. Mm. You start there and write across nine. The word nine, right? N-I-N-E. Right. And I've done it down yes. and we cross. Mm -hmm. Now, write down eight. Oh, E-I-G-H-T. And I do the same and look how it's coming out. Now, ten. Oh, OK. T-E-N. And if I put an E in there, we've got a crossword puzzle mm. with the names of the numbers. Got the idea? Mm -hmm. All right. Here's a simple one. What's that? Um, four letters. Uh, well, it could be five. F I V E. Then I'd end with an E, and I'd have to think of a three-letter word. That's mm, can't think of one. Well, that's the limitation, um, isn't it? How many three-letter? I can't uh, think of any numbers. Are there? I can't think of any. Oh, that start with an E, but there are some. Um, for example, uh, six S I X okay. ten T E N. Um, one, O-N-E, but I'd need to end something with an O. What about zero? Oh, of course, of course. So it's Z-E-R-O, Z-E-R-O, O-N-E, O-N-E, it works. Right. A little crossword puzzle. Mm. Well, there are lots of those. In fact, some of them have several solutions, like that one. And some of them have at least more than one, like that one. But here's a simple one to end on. What's that? Um, three letters. Um, well, it could be O N E S I X or two T W O. Then I have an O O N E. Or coming down this way, T W O O N E. How did I go? Very good. I want to know. Curiosity.